Tonight, people in Macon gathered to pray for an end to the conflict in Israel and the Gaza Strip. At a prayer service at Temple Beth Israel, people expressed hurt and anger over the fighting. As Anthony Montalto shows us, the rabbis leading the service hope their congregations will find comfort through prayer. Prayer and music filled the sanctuary at Temple Beth Israel Wednesday as people came together to remember victims killed in the fighting this week. Many of them prayed for one thing, peace. <laughs> will be uncovered, that the number of individuals who were kidnapped will increase. Pain and frustration over renewed fighting in Israel in the Gaza Strip, yet at the same time, courage and faith. In this moment, Kaveh El Adonai, hope in God, Chazak Bechamet, Lord, courage and strength to your heart. The sanctuary was full as Rabbis Elizabeth Bahar and Aaron Rubenstein led a joint service. The goal, coming together to grieve and pray for peace. And for the safety of the people of Israel. Nicholas Fox went to the service to feel the connection. He wanted to bring attention to the conflict and remind people that they may not understand what others are going through. We're connected, but we're also so divided. It's so easy to look at other people only in front of a screen and not actually see them, not to see their hurt, not to see their pain and to assign some sort of moralization onto them. Now, one of the things Rabbi Bahar told the congregation was that you could choose to have doubt or faith. And many of the folks here Wednesday hoped their faith would lead to a quick resolution of the violence. In Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAC News. Now, Fox also encouraged people to check on their friends who may know someone involved in the conflict. Many people at tonight's service did know someone who was called up to fight.